Alrighty, as promised, I'm going to break down the little homemade projector that I have that took me a couple of months to come up with how to exactly put it together. This is the list of things that you will need, so you want to take note of it. This is the list of things that I had to get over the course of time to get that put together. The first thing on the list is a flexible shower arm, like you are going to redo your shower. I got this one here. It is uh, 11 and a half inches, uh, and the ends are one half inch. So you want to make sure that it's a half an inch because there's some other things going to be attached to it. And the one that I got was from Glacier Bay, which is uh, right here. It actually was at Home Depot. And um, anyway, that's the one. I'm sure you can get a different kind. But anyway, second thing is you want to get a flange, which is this thing here. And you want to get that half an inch because obviously the end of the shower arm is a half an inch. So this is going to have to go into there. So you put the flange onto a little block of wood that you might have with some screws. That way you can um, attach the shower arm to the block of wood that way. Just like that. And it's flexible so you can move it around. Okay. Alright, the next thing you're going to need to do is get a one half an inch by one fourth inch bushing and you need a one half an inch galvanized coupling which looks like this um, the bushing, I already have it on my little frame, so I don't want to take it out. It just looks like a big screw, basically. This is the end of it, and it goes through the frame right here, just like that. So, basically what I did was I took my shower arm, took the one half an inch coupler here, and you just screw that on to the shower arm just like that and then you're going to take a three-fourths of an inch spade drill bit which looks like this and a small wooden frame you can get at Michaels and this is one that they sell for a dollar it looks like this you can it's one that you can paint and do things with. It's one dollar at Michael's. So basically, I got that. I took my uh, spade drill bit here and I drilled a hole in this frame, which I then put the bushing, which is like a big screw, into the hole. Just like that. Then you get your little Thing here you have and you just basically are going to screw it into the coupler which is already on which is already on here you're just going to turn it until it's tight okay so here we have here we have the little stand here. This is the wood block. You have the galvanized um, flange here with screws. You have your shower arm. You have a coupler here. The bushing, which is like a big screw. You have this wooden frame. And that's basically what you're going to do to put your transparency in and be able to get it on your cake. So what you're doing, sorry for all the movement, is like I've shown you before, this is like the little bird that I did. You basically just stick this in your little frame here, real simple. You're just going to stick it in there just like if you were putting a picture or something like that. 
you just stick that in there just like that and then the last thing you're going to need is which is a light or a lamp and I found this one at Home Depot which is the perfect one because if you get one that's too bright it will shine right through the transparency and it will not work this lamp is perfect I actually took a transparency into the store they had a little demo and I did it and it worked perfect it does not have a light bulb um, it's just one of the new type of lamps there's no bulb that you replace as you can see it's like an LED light in there and it has a little clip-on that you can clip on to your cabinet or the actual little um, projector here so basically um, if you have a lamp or a light you can try it and see if it works you know if you have the other part made you can try that this this one here was $19.99 at Home Depot and it is very well worth it because I tried out lots of other lights and they're just not they just didn't work so you can play around with it and see but anyway this is my stand here you can actually clip this light I'm gonna move this again so you can see you can actually clip this light onto um, the little frame here or you can even clip it down here onto the shower arm or onto your cabinet it's just up to you but that's exactly how it works and again I'm going to give you what you're going to need to make this here is the instructions here are actually the list of items you will need to do it I gave you the instructions on the video you'll just have to go back and re-watch I guess if you need to but it actually works pretty well it is something you have to play around with because it's not um, I mean, it's not perfect but it really does work I'm going to do another video on how to actually put the image onto the cake so good luck <laughs>